about to leave Already packing, come with me I'm not really asking We'll get away to a place where we don't know About to see the world in action What we can be, life with no distractions We'll get away Great One minute. Let me just get you situated. Go ahead. Right. We're gonna choose your color on this side. So the four lower shells we have the regular. Those ones come with your pedicure, and then up top we have the shellac with like a gel. $25 Ooh, okay. Well, I just did my toes about a couple of days ago, so. What's she doing? It's okay. I work around it. Yeah. So you just really want the exfoliation. Yeah. just got from getting the most from getting the best pedicure ever I also let them upsell me on something <laughs> but it's my birthday I have an excuse God is good this is 39 guys here's today's towel animal and I don't have to explain what this is it's an elephant right it's an elephant First time on the balcony for the day, guys. I haven't showed you guys the view. We have a Norwegian ship right there. She's been sailing alongside of us all night. <laughs> I don't know if it's a race or what. Yeah. We just came from Sea Day Brunch.
yeah so let me just give you a brief recap of how my morning has been thus far on my birthday so we slept in like i overslept didn't hear my alarm because i knew i had an 8 a.m appointment for my pedicure what awoke us was the phone ringing in the cabin it was like 6 no it was like 7 40. i jumped up ran in the bathroom or I did my facial stuff and my hygiene ran down not ran down but took the elevators down to deck five luckily the elevators wasn't as busy so went to deck five and um, was able to get to my appointment on time so my pedicure was amazing simply amazing felt so good the massages the hot stones didn't record much of it you know wanted to be in the moment and treat myself for my birthday but back in the room now what's the plan right now i don't know we probably will explore the ship some more um but it's beautiful outside yeah so <clears throat> probably have to now shampoo and condition my hair to get it prepped for tonight because we do have dinner reservations for Rudy's Seagrill. That's one of the new steakhouse or steakhouse restaurants on board the XL class ships that Carnival has. So yeah, the steakhouse last night, if I were being honest with you guys, on this ship, it was not good. It was not good. And when the waiter came around to um, bring the check for us last night, he asked. And I, I'm the type of person, I don't like to rain on nobody's parade. But I was like, you know, I don't like confrontation. <laughs> so I was like, it was all right. And he's like, wow, what? Like, what happened? And I was like, the steak was not good. <laughs> it was not seasoned. It was bad. That was like the worst steakhouse we've ever had on a carnival ship the worst and i was so looking forward to that the best thing about that meal last night was the wine and the cheesecake was okay but nah um which is surprising for a new ship because the other ships they are quite older than this one this one is only two years old and it's quite surprising that the steakhouse was lackluster mm -hmm. i said it it was not good I don't know if chef felt like working last night but it was not good to us at least so yeah i'll check in with you guys later Toodles. hey guys i hope you can hear me i doubt it's so breezy but it's so nice we are in the serenity area this is huge the serenity on this ship is very huge Hey y'all, so 
so it's evening time and I am about to get ready um, it's roughly 5 30 dinner reservations are at 7 I think I mentioned this earlier I'm not sure but so I just got out the shower conditions my hair my hair is already laid hence all of this while I'm doing my makeup that could be laying down and yeah so this is a get ready with me I'm about to do my makeup um, thinking about a blue smoky eye so my face is hella ashy that's why I didn't want to prime I didn't want to moisturize or anything off of camera I wanted to show you all of that while I'm getting ready face edition so let's get started because time's a wasting <laughs> so right now my lips are feeling dry and I'm gonna use my Laneige vanilla night cream it's a nice well, sleeping mask, not night cream, sleeping mask for your lips. But to be honest, I use it day and night. So, use some of that. And then, to moisturize my face, I'm not gonna tone or anything. I love to do that after makeup. When I take my makeup off, I'll do that. And then, I'm just gonna add some of this um, vitamin C I think I showed this I think I showed this on yesterday some vitamin C to my face just a little bit of that because I want to come back and do my nighttime routine I don't want to use too much of it in one day because I've already used some this morning before I went to the spa so then I'm just gonna moisturize using some of this CeraVe moisturizing cream. A little goes a long way, guys. Okay, so now I'm gonna prep and prime my skin, hydrate and smooth. We're gonna shake this up, give it a little spritz so it won't come out and burst on my face. So next is gonna be my eyebrows. I love to do my brows first because to me, brows shape the face. I bought my Mickey mirror. <laughs> Mickey goes everywhere. Everywhere Mickey goes. Because Mickey is that guy. My favorite brow pomade, Anastasia Beverly Hills in Ebony. Quickly get some brows on. And guys, like when you find that your pomade is kind of drying out, add a little, 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 little bit of oil. So, Mine's was kind of drying out because it's cooler. And so it was like really solid. So to reconstitute it, I add a little drop of castor oil. And that's the hexane free castor oil. I use some of that. Add a bit to the pomade and just let it sit in there. I didn't stir it up or nothing because I didn't want to dry it out. I didn't want it to dry out because it's still kind of cool. So every time I go ahead and use it, it has a little bit of oil that I can just pass the brush over and soften up the pomade. Now, I am gonna put on my primer now. This is the Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer. I'm gonna put this on now so that it can settle into the skin before I put on my foundation. So while I remember, now is the time to do just that. I'm gonna pat this into my skin. It's gonna have me looking hella <laughs> ghostly. But, yeah. So yeah guys, it's been five whole years since we have cruised and I have been looking so forward to this. You have no idea. I love it, okay? We love cruising. So next, I'm gonna um, frame the top of my brows. You need like a flat shader brush. So I'm gonna pump just a little bit on the back end of my hand. Focus and concentrate, y'all. Not too much talking. All right, so once that is outlined, I'm gonna just take the brush and blend it up into my forehead. Trying not to get it on my white, on my platinum hair. It's hard. Um, trying to avoid 
the hair, but sometimes it still gets on my hair, so I don't really freak out about it. It's there, so. So next, I'm gonna take some concealer. We're gonna use the barn this way because my shadow is gonna be kind of smoky and I don't want too light of a base. All right, blend down all over the eye. I know I look crazy, <laughs> but there's an art to this. And I haven't recorded a makeup tutorial in such a long time, so. <laughs> Don't matter though, because it never goes away. I'm using two eyeshadow palettes. My favorite one for traveling is the Urban Decay Born to Run palette. This has just about every color you would need to match with different, a plethora of outfits. I love to take this one along with me when I'm traveling. The looks, you can get a lot out of this. But for that blue, I'm gonna be taking that blue right there. That's a nice blue, velvety blue. Huda Beauty Kunafa, Kunafa powder. It's a setting powder. So I'm just gonna use this to set my brow bone area. And this is my transition color, guys. This is the first one that I'm using. We are located right on Lidl Deck, but surprisingly, you cannot even hear activities. So, like, that's a plus. Music and stuff, like, you cannot even hear anything. Like, soundproofing, legit. And Lidl is located, I think I didn't say this, but I can't remember, on Deck 16. How has the ride been so far? I'm a person that has to rock myself to sleep. Like, I sh <laughs> I rock myself to sleep, y'all. That's not weird. I know plenty of people who does, <laughs> who does that. Okay, this is the brow bone highlight. That is what I'm going for. It's not gonna stay harsh like that, but we're gonna take that anyhow. And then we're gonna go back into that first transition color and blend in between the two, yes. That's what I was looking for. But like I was saying, I usually rock myself to sleep, but we had a little light sway and I didn't even need to rock myself to sleep. It felt so good. Okay, so next I'm gonna take a second transition color. I feel like the camera isn't even giving it justice. It's not picking up the way it should on camera right now. But this is simple, guys. This is a simple look. Okay, let's blend in between those colors. So now, we're gonna go in with foundation. I want a full, 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 full B. So I am applying four pumps of foundation to my face. So let's start with the bottom, where I have hyperpigmentation from acne scars. Want to make sure those are covered. I so love this formula. With the Huda Beauty foundation, full filter foundation. Girl, she'll have your look popping. I don't take my foundation up all the way to my eye because we're concealing. All right. Took away too much of the brow, but no sense in me fixing them right now because I still have to conceal. So we're gonna touch those up in a few minutes. So I'm gonna be using two concealers today. I'll be using the Cover Girl. This is the Cover Girl True Blend Undercover Concealer and the Juvia's Place Concealer Number 12. This is super thin and this will go down first as my first concealer because it's very thin. It's not full coverage, medium coverage at best. So we're gonna do that. And this step also helps to give you a little nose, give your nose some shape and definition. Last time I checked, so it should be almost six o'clock because this video is actually right now 27 minutes long. 
Okay, so I'm just gonna let this sit right now. And we're gonna blend in between those harsh lines, like you can see. Yeah. We haven't gone to the main dining room as yet. I th I'm thinking that maybe around Thursday, Friday, but we still have one, three more specialty restaurants to try out on the ship. So yeah, guys. Oh, mm-mm. I tell y'all I'm a foodie and if it's not good, I'm gonna let you know. We went to Bonsai Sushi. We went to Bonsai Sushi, that's the sushi place on here. We always, when we do cruise, um, we get Bonsai Sushi. So we know what to expect when we go for Bonsai Sushi. Oh my gosh, y'all. Mm -mm. I love sushi. I love it. It was horrible. The sushi was bad. It looked good because I vlogged. Like, I vlogged it. But, guy, mm -mm, mm -mm. it was not good. A total waste of money. $50 waste because nothing tasted good. Like, shrimp tempura was maybe. 4 out of 10. California roll is the worst. California roll is maybe a 1 out of 10. I'm telling you no lie. They get that one for decoration because it was pretty. But the taste was not there. Ciao. Mm -mm. It wasn't good. So I'm going to set my under eyes. And we're going to go in with the Huda Beauty Kunafa powder again. I kind of like these sponges. I've, I've been seeing these trending lately. It like takes you right up, right up in there, so. Covergirl Queen Ebony Bronzer. We gotta bring some shadow and some bronziness to this look. We wanna look like a bronze goddess. Technically, basically. So. We're gonna take the middle color because we love a plum blush. All right. What do I think? Good. Mm -hmm. I want. I wonder if I should go bold, y'all. Do a bold red lip. I don't know. Feeling a little feisty, cause why? It's my birthday. I'ma do what I like. So eyeliner, just a regular black, to bring some more definition to the eye. We're gonna smudge this liner out. All right, next we're gonna contour this nose. Bronze it up, girl. Yes. Mascara, then lashes. All right, I'm gonna take this brush and dab it into this. It's a little shaky. We went to the comedy show last night. It was good. Made us laugh. It was not PG. <laughs> and girl, there was a girl inside that comedy show. I think she had a few too many. I think she probably had that drink package because baby, she wouldn't be quiet. When you're at a comedy show, you try to stay invisible because honey, they coming for you. That time her boyfriend holding her face and he was trying to calm her down and tell her like be quiet, yo. And yeah, her mom and her boyfriend. I don't know, boyfriend, husband, fiance, I don't know what his status is, but they had to take her out. Mm -hmm. They had to take her out of the comedy show because baby. That comedian, he was ready. He was ready. I can't quite remember what it was, but yeah, she tried it. She tried it. Y'all, I need to hurry up. So, this I'm gonna sign up. We have to go. My husband, he gave me an hour so that he can come back. So, vlogging takes longer than doing makeup. Okay. So, let's oh, see. 
you see the line of demarcation that is why this has to be the last to that is what the hair is looking like that's why that has to be the last to um finish because i don't i'm trying to avoid getting product in the platinum so i'm gonna line my lashes hidden beauty these are her lashes i love her lashes support your low coats yeah we're gonna let this get tacky and then we're gonna deal with the area that i did not cover that's the downside to having platinum hair especially if you want it neat when you're making when you wear your makeup you have to be strategic about how to apply it because literally my everything is done I still have to go back. Foundation. Ain't no getting around that. Alright, contour. Alright. We're gonna go on with Fenty. Which one is this? Most valuable player. The MVP. <laughs> yes. It on it helps when you're adhesive this Norwegian ship has been sailing on side of us from we left Miami yesterday and I'm here for it you know because we got company it helps when your adhesive is nice and tacky and they fall right in place especially when they already form to your eye okay guys so this is it this is the look now to get completely done up and i'll insert pictures okay so thank you guys for tuning in don't forget to like comment and subscribe to the channel and yeah i gotta go finish getting ready y'all so see you guys later bye Until